big day for Call of Duty. Today, the Attack of the Undead event was revealed, and that was actually something that, if you guys missed it, I actually got to debut that out at Sledgehammer here on my channel, both on YouTube and on Twitch. So firstly, a huge thank you to Sledgehammer and Activision for having me out here for all that. It was a tremendous amount of fun, and honestly, an absolute blast. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed what you saw. Hopefully, you guys have played a little bit of what there is going to be within the event and got your hands on, say, infected, all that kind of stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to be breaking down absolutely everything that changed, but I wanted to get you guys a video tonight while I still could here for this. But in this video, we're going to be showing off all of the new ranged weapons within Call of Duty World War II's Attack of the Undead title update. So we ended up getting seven total weapons here at this one, but five actual ranged weapons. So we're going to be showing those off here at this and, of course, letting you guys see them in their raw, unedited formats. But there are some things that I want to let you guys know about before we jump into the raw gameplay. And then, of course, I'll let you see that in its entirety. So that said, today's offerings with the update ended up giving us the Blunderbuss, the Nambu Type 2, the Lever Action Sniper Rifle, the PTRS-41, which I'm really happy came back, the Stinger or the M1919, the Fire Axe, as well as the Claymore. Now, again, in this video, we're not going to be taking a look at the Fire Axe or the Claymore simply because I'm not a huge melee person, and essentially, they're all just reskins of the same thing, but the Claymore actually is quite hilarious. It's massive. It is a huge sword, but regardless, some things to note are that the Nambu Type 2, I actually talked to Rambo Ray, the ex-COD pro who now works as Sledgehammer, about this during the live stream, and he says that this was actually built to try and counter the PPSH. That's kind of the main meta weapon that everybody will use in the game, but the Nambu Type 2 was actually created in order to kind of counterbalance that use of it. So this may be one you end up seeing a lot. Personally, I don't know if I got the hang of it just as quickly as maybe some other people did, but it was something that I could totally feel the resemblance of it, but it definitely is different enough. So that's something to keep in mind. The lever action was one that was actually made to kind of replicate that of the Ballista from Black Ops 2. The ADS time is much faster than that of what you'll see, but it also has a lot of not one shot potential, but two shot potential. So it is something you have to be accurate for it. So it kind of counterbalances that really quick ADS speed with the need to be super accurate. So that's something again to take in mind, as well as the Stinger or the M1919. That's actually one that may become an awesome weapon if you can end up custom tailoring it to a little bit more faster pace gameplay, but it is another weapon that is a two shot kill. So that like the Bren is one that is very powerful, but you need to learn how to run it in a way that isn't as super campy. So if you can do that, you're probably going to shred, but it is something that does need that little counterbalance there that it's not very mobile. So if you can find a way to get a little more accurate with that in the sense of movement, well, then you're definitely going to be on the roll. But that said, that is the seven weapons that we ended up getting today dropped once again for you. The Blunderbuss, the Nambu Type 2, the Lever Action, the PTRS, the Stinger, the Fire Axe, and the Claymore. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Blunderbuss, Nambu Type 2, Lever Action, PTRS, and the Stinger. So I'll let you guys see the gameplay of all that kind of stuff. But again, a huge thank you to Sledgehammer for having me out. It was an absolutely awesome and fantastic time. Truly had so much fun. And I hope you guys did enjoy what you saw on the live stream if you guys came out. But that said, thank you to them. Thank you to Activision for flying me out here and all that good stuff. But I'll let you guys see the rest of the gameplay in its entirety. And hopefully you guys enjoy. These are available in collections as well as supply drops. Though I definitely recommend going the armor credits and collections route if you have the opportunity to. But again, these are available and that's how you are going to be able to get them today. But if you guys want to check them out again, they are available there. But hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and of course, follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you guys want to. But that said, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll see you guys later for a lot more content here regarding Attack of the Undead. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. My name is Espresso. Take care and peace. Ich mache nun flankieren.
their superiority. We're taking heavy casualties. Move in the galley! Recon aircraft ready. Ready. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Targets. We control the battlefield. Quick bombing mission ready. in your area. Recon air bomb searching for targets. Fritz X bombing mission ready. Fight concluded. We have the momentum. Searching for targets. Let's <laughs> expand ready. We're breaking their backs. We need reinforcements. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Recon flight concluded. Recon Airborne, 
ambush in the mid. Recon searching for targets. Recon aircraft ready for mission. Recon the airborne. Enemy flamethrower in the field. Destroy the comms equipment! Fire in the hole! Tossing grenade! Move it, soldiers! Get that equipment down! until enemy reinforcements arrive. Enemy air drop incoming! Destroy the artillery guns! Move! Recon searching for targets. Searching for targets. 
Recon aloft. We have eyes in the sky. Counter recon is airborne. Engaging enemy aircraft. 